Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you all the loot spawns here in Sunken Village. Keep in mind, these spawns are primarily gold spawns. They're going to have ammo and food. Those are going to be the three biggest things that you're going to see spawn in this area. But you can typically make at least 200k just off the loot in this area if nobody else has touched it, of course. So let's go ahead and hop into it and let me show you guys how to make some money on this map. Okay, so starting off, we're in the very back of the sunken village first building i'm going to show you is here on the right and i'm going to show you guys a map as well um, on the screen so you guys can kind of keep in touch where each building is in coordination to this map when you first come into this building here check the left on this bench and on the outside and inside of this little green bin there can be medical items that spawn there i've seen salewa spawn there so if you're still looking for salewas this is always a good area to check over here by the furnace is a food spawn. As you can see, there is pineapple juice. And then on top of that table is a lootable duffel bag. And in this tent and around the outside of the tent can be food spawns and gold spawns. So make sure you're keeping an eye out whenever you're in here for those areas. When we go out, we are going to run out to the left to this building here. I call it stash house. You can call it whatever you feel like, but... I call it Stash House. So I'm going to go past Stash House real quick because I do want to show you guys this little camp back here. You can find um, like MBSS and SCAP backpacks back here. So if you do end up needing a bigger backpack, make sure you just check along the outskirts of this little camp right here. And if you go to this house here, there is three spawns you're going to want to check. This is where you can make some serious money. First thing you want to check when you come in is this little broken down door right on the bottom here is a gold spawn this entire bush check the ground of this bush as you can see there's an ornament here a lot of times you're going to get like golden uh, or you get bronze lions there's gold spawns there's rare spawns i've gotten clocks i've gotten ravens everything in this bush so make sure you're checking the bottom of the floor of this bush there's a stash here as well and that can literally spawn anything who knows what you're going to get when you're in there so make sure you check that out every time you're in there when we go up here on this rock to the church, before we even get into the church, there are two potential spawns for money. Here you can see it has the prompt for a gold chain. And then again, this will be like a gold chain. I've had Bitcoin, GP coins, and like skull rings and chainlets <laughs> spawn here. So make sure you're checking underneath that bench. When you get into the actual church itself, you can get like between two to five items spawning in here. So make sure you check the entirety of this floor. You can see a chain lit there. A lot of time pro kills will spawn in here and they'll be sitting like right on the crack of the floor. So make sure you're looking for those. And then on top of this little bench as well. So coming off the church, we are going to go to this building here. I'm just going to show you really quick. There's usually ammo and food in this building. And you're going to want to check it inside. Right here. For the ammo and food on top of that mattress. When you come out, and you're going to come out to this main road here. We're not going to go to the left yet. First, we're going to follow this road. Go past this building. And I'm going to show you where you can get some ammo really quickly. Now, you do want to kind of keep in mind as well on this, there are scavs that spawn in here, so make sure you're paying attention to that as well. <laughs> okay, so when you get over here, you're going to want to check this little building. All of these crates have loot that will spawn for ammo on the outside of them, on the inside. And then when you come into this area, make sure you check this table because that's also going to give you uh, ammo. Over here is also another ammo spawn. If you go past that blue tractor and the green tractor, there's ammo that will spawn on top of those crates. If you go inside of this building and go to the right, there's a ton of food and ammo spawns. So ammo will spawn here and food can literally spawn anywhere on the floor here and on any of these uh, little cots. So make sure you're just checking anywhere in this house on the floor for those spawns so out here to the right we're going to go over to the cultist circle cultists do spawn here at night it's a very 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 low chance but watch out because it is terrifying when you accidentally run into them at night here is your cultist circle make sure you don't just check the inside of this cultist circle you're going to want to make sure you're checking like two to three feet outside of it because the gold spawns will reach out two to three feet around this circle 
So make sure you're just checking around the outside like that. We're going to go past this building. Nothing really ever spawns in this building, so I don't ever bother with it. But we are using that as kind of like a landmark to find this next spawn, which is a little blue boat. You're going to see the water over here. If you go too close to the water, you'll get shot by snipers, so watch out. Inside of this boat, anywhere inside this boat, along the middle, check for gold spawns. You'll get, um, like, golden chains. A lot of times you'll get, like, rollers, smaller golden items, but they do spawn there. Typically, this is, like, um, vodka. I've had moonshine spawn here, and any, like, liquid items for food. This is the last building over here. When you come in here, first thing you want to do is check the right. This is a Bitcoin and Bronze Lion spawn. Always check it every single time. You never know, and they're really small, so you might miss it when you first look. So make sure you check this corner. When you go to the left here at the window directly below it, this log here, you can see the ornament. This is another spawn you're going to want to make sure you check. Inside this little box underneath these, this almost like little triangle of uh, wood planks, make sure you're checking underneath it so that you can see because it, you sometimes have to crouch, but there will be an item that spawns underneath it. Gold items will also spawn right underneath of this little oil bin right here at this little piece of rope. So make sure you're checking right there and getting down there low. If you're looking for defuel, this is a wonderful, wonderful spot to do. I would say 80% of the time you're going to find defuel on this box and at least a painkiller of some sort. There's usually ammo on that box there. And in the center of the room, you can already see where two of the spawns are. Check this entire little stack because there's also going to be ammo there as well. Running out of the building a little forward before you pass this little carriage, there is a toolbox that you can search. And over here on the lake, there is a little boathouse. Um, in the boathouse, you can get more rare items, I would say. Um, it's a, like, I would say like 40% chance spawn probably. When you come in here, you want to check this entire boat on top, below the seats, and inside of this, like, rope because they will spawn there as well. And then the last little thing that you're gonna wanna make sure you check is the uh, mailbox. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe for some more daily content here on the YouTube and everyone have a great day.